Hi guys, today we are going to see how to set up Java in Raspberry Pi 3. First we need to install Java. If you installed Java previously, check the version of Java installed in your system. If it is less than Java version 8, you need to update the Java. To check the version of Java, open command prompt and enter the command java hyphen version. Now my version is Java 1.8. So if your version is Java 1.8, you are good to go. You can skip the next part. That is installation of Java. If you get the command like Java is not recognized as internal or external command, then you don't have Java installed in your system. Or if you see a version less than Java 1.8, you need to install Java 8. Now we will see how to install Java 8. Now go to Google and type Java 8 download. Now click the first link Java AC development kit and click accept license agreement. There are various versions of Java available based on the operating system. Now select which version you need to install. Like I need to install Java for Windows but I get confused like whether I need to install 32 bit or 62 bit. For this go to command prompt and enter the command WMICO Yes, get OS architecture. Now I can able to see my architecture is 64 bit. So I need to download Java 64 bit. Your download will start. In the meantime, we will also download Java ME SDK. Enter Java ME SDK downloads. Now click the first link. Now click accept license agreement. Now select this link Oracle Java ME SDK 8.3 for Windows. Click this. And also we need to download plugins. Go to the same page. We can download plugins for either NetBeans or for Eclipse. I am using Eclipse. So I am downloading plugins for Eclipse. Click here. Now we will install Java 8 and Java ME SDK. Now we downloaded Java 8, Java ME SDK and the Eclipse plugin. Now we will install Java 8. Click next. Next. Now our installation will start. Now Java 8 is installed successfully. Close. Now we will install Java ME SDK. It will automatically select the JDK path. Yeah, I am okay with this path, so I am clicking next. Give allow access. Now we need to download Java 8 MB embedded. Go to Google and type Java 8 MB embedded. Download. Click the first link. Accept the license agreement and download Oracle Java ME Embedded 8.3 for Raspberry Pi Model B. Click this. Your download will start. It is now downloaded. We can able to see Raspberry Pi Linux bin here. Now we need to download IDE. I am going to use Eclipse. So I am downloading Eclipse. You can download any IDE of your choice. Click Eclipse Downloads. And the Neon is the latest version and my architecture is 64 bit. So I am downloading 64 bit uh, Eclipse. Click Download. Now open this. Run. This will open the Eclipse installer. Now we need to select the IDE of our choice. I am selecting Eclipse IDE for Java WE developers. We have lot other options also. I am selecting this. Give install. Now our Eclipse installed successfully. Click launch. And we need to download PSFTP. 
so to download psftp we need to go to putty.org click here and select psftp and click psftp.exe now this is downloaded and our eclipse is also started select a workspace now our eclipse is open click workbench now we need to install the plugin which we have downloaded earlier go to help click install new software get the path before click add click archive now select eclipse plugins and give a name raspberry pi plugin click ok select everything and click next now our plugin will install click next accept the license agreements and click finish now restart the eclipse now our plugin got installed successfully now connect to the raspberry pi to connect raspberry pi to the laptop check my previous video and i have added a link to that video in the description now copy this raspberry pi linux bin and paste it in c temp open psftp run enter the command open raspberry pi dot ms home dot net login as username is pi and password is raspberry now enter the command lcd c temp now enter put followed by the name exactly matching this put oracle j m e 8 3 r r raspberry pi linux bin dot zip now we pasted this file in home now we need to open putty in the previous tutorial i have created sessions so i am selecting raspberry session load click open username is pa password is raspberry now enter the command unzip oracle JME 8 RR Raspberry Pi Linux bin dot zip hyphen D and mention a folder name Java me 8 now our extraction is done new project java me java me project You testing add finish finish yes 
now create a java me midlet This is the start app and this is the destroy app. And we can write creating app here. Now we will create a device. To create a device, click here and click device manager. Click the plus symbol. Type raspberry pi dot ms home dot net and the proxy direct and uh, give a name of your choice. I am giving embedded external device and click OK. Now the status will be trying to connect. Now open putty give the username pi password raspberry go to the folder java yummy 8 bin then Type the command sudo user test dot sh. Now our Java device is started and device is now registered. And when you open this, you will get the status that now the status is changed to connected. And if you go on see here, we can able to see a new device here. And now run this application. Right click, run as emulated Java ME midlet. Now the application is started. We can able to see the output here. That is a creating app and we can able to see the output here also like this will be printed in our putty as well if we stop the application now if you open the output we will get creating app and stopping app here also we will get creating app and stopping app that is we have wrote in the start app we have wrote creating app and in the desktop app a method we have wrote stopping app thanks for watching this video for more technical videos please subscribe this channel